Hey everybody, how's it? Oh, this is Jeebs here at the Old Composer. No, I'm the Old Composer at the Decomposer Lounge. And, you know, uh, there's no two ways about it. No matter where you are in the world of guitar playing uh, and looking for uh, unique musicians to express themselves on instruments in the most amazing way, of which on this channel we see very often, there's no two ways about it, but uh, Matteo Mancuso is probably one of the most revered uh, guitar players in essence of being just as humble. Kind of reminds me of a Guthrie Govan kind of a, of a, of a, of a spirit in, in his uh, appreciation for uh, being a musician, for being able to play and entertain people in such a humble kind of way. Uh, yet he's got this track here that I'm about to play that to me reminds me of when um, Eric Johnson on one of his albums, you know, went ahead and, and kind of pushed a little bit of a rock element in one of his tracks. Um, so this this I bring to you on this channel because I know that so many people on this channel are musicianship aficionados. Is that it? You celebrate just the abilities of musicians. There's no two ways about it. Whether it's Meshuggah, Polyphia, but you know, Periphery, and on and on and on. All these guys know this guy. I thought I'd bring this track. It was just released about 13 days ago, as it says here. And um, I listened to it like four times. And it's just mind-numbing. The fusion of techniques. But at the very end, I need you guys to hang in there at the end. Or maybe I'll just put it in the chapter if you guys... No, I won't put it in the chapter because that would be a gross uh, <laughs> disrespect to the track if you don't make it there by listening to it all. This riff that he blows off at the end is so freaking insanely cool, so metal, but in a way that only Mateo can do it. So let's do this, guys. The name of this track is called Drop D, and automatically I was like, all right, drop that, because you guys know how I like to do a lot of Drop D on my backing tracks. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. This is Mateo Mancuso doing Drop D. Listen to the delay on that arpeggiation. Okay, I got to break in really quick because I guess you got to drop some of my thoughts on this. Remember I said at the very beginning of this, listen to the uh, delay that he uses in his, on his opening arpeggiation. Adds just a little bit of that super cool ambiance. What I love is he's getting through his verse section. The, the, you know, there's, a, there's parts of this track, this very beginning melody kind of reminds me of something that Larry Carlton did about 35 years ago. Very similar. And if that's what this is influenced by, then you can only see farther when you stand on the shoulder of giants. The other thing is, is now we're going into the second, let's say, verse, let's say, of this track. Let's say, that's what I said that I say we say, so that's why we say let's say. Now what does he do? He gives it a little bit of saturation on the sound. <clears throat> that opening uh, arpeggiation now has, you know, a little bit of juice behind it. So now the elevation of the production also is starting to step into a little bit more of a, a rock metal fusion kind of vibe. So freaking digging it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that bass. All right, speaking of which, here we go. J. 
chicken skin. And here comes the juice. All right, guys, turn it up to 11 for this. Oh, that bass. <laughs> I love I love it that he's at the beach too. You guys know how I am about the beach. Um you know, there's no two ways about it. Uh he he and the musicians in on this track are so out there talented that sometimes that I've I've heard, you know, music, music, musicians I have no coffee with me, that's why. Uh when they kind of um, flex into other genres sometimes for myself I, I can hear that there might be a little extra work going into it because they may not be overly familiar with the genre they can flex they're flexing into in this case this was as authentic and as raw and as um, organic of a composition uh, as as I could possibly have asked for from um, Matteo and, um, and and these musicians um, even 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 the even the actual songwriting aspect of it, in the sense that I've heard music from him, where he's got these incredible pieces of work that have so many wonderful changes in it, but sticking to the form of like giving us something to chew on, running off and getting pretty hot with the lead, and then coming back to give us that same thing to chew on that he's established us with, which is the arpeggiation and that riff, and then coming back and then giving us a little more to chew on, and then he just absolutely goes Richter on that, on that solo. And um, and then, of course, finishes up with not only does he give us back a little bit of what uh, he's already established, but he's also brought us down nice and easily. You know, I mean, the song could have ended at do 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 you know, but no, he brought us in with this glide and he sent us like to the stratosphere and then left us up there to glide down. I mean, that's the way I felt about it. Anyhow, I'm goobering over this. This is incredible. The link for this video and everything that is uh, Mateo is going to be down below. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I wasn't going to do anything today because uh, I got some work to do on you know some of my nonprofit stuff, but I this came across my browser and said, oh, I'm on this so bad. All right, guys, take care. Have a sick weekend. I'll see you next week. All right.